Hi guys, my name is Anthony. This is Crypto for you today. I'm going to talk about what's going on with Bitcoin Chart. I'm going to give you an update. It's an emergency update because we're going up right now. So let's get into the video. So if we look at the chart, you can see that we are breaking out of this appreciating channel, which are actually bullish. But if we zoom out and go to this line right here, so if we zoom out a little bit more, we'll do it when you chart. When we actually went out right here, so this was when we went to the 14,000 level, we actually went above this triangle two times actually. These wicks went above it, and everybody was like, Yay, we're gonna be going up! and then we crashed, and that was when we were um, almost at the incredible sell zone. And if we look at what's going right now, we are crawling to that level right there, and the top of the triangle we did break it right now. So this right now saying is to sell. So is that the same thing that's happening right now? But there is some bullish patterns also that I'm going to talk about later. But right now, if we look, we have been having lower highs for the past, how oh, when is this, three years. So lower high, lower high, lower high right here. And then we to make a higher high, we're supposed to break the 10,500 level, which is the top of this one. So... If we if we break the ten thousand five hundred level, then I'm sure we're starting a new bull market. But one thing that I, why I think there's some bullish patterns here is that why I have this chart right here. This chart will show us some bullish patterns. So number one bullish pattern, what I'm going to talk about is let's see ascending triangle. If we look and if I draw a line, it's going to be white. We can see that we had the top right here. And then we had the bottom right here. And we could actually draw it like this. And it says that we should buy when it's right there, like right at that little tiny point. And that's when we should have bought at 9,300 level. And if we draw a line from the bottom and we tapped it up to here, and we put it right all the way here, the top would be 10.9k, 10, 10 which is higher, you know, than the previous one at 10.5. So, yeah, that is going to be, that might be how we're going to get a, a, a higher high. So, one thing that is nervousing me right here, you guys could see right here, when we had the incredible buy, we crashed a little bit right here. So, we are in the sell zone also in the monthly chart. And the MACD is telling us that we are super... Uh, bullish and you guys see when it had this gigantic hump we crashed after the hump closed and you should you, like you should see to sell when the blue goes underneath the red but that would be a little bit higher so you would sell when the hump starts going back down and the, you will know that the it will start crossing so the RSI fit perfectly when we stop going up and that's when we crashed right here so the same thing happening right here because we are right now pretty high and the RSI is starting to go down and you guys can see that this is going down and but we don't see a hump yet on on the MACD so I wouldn't say I'm selling it so yeah move it a little bit yeah 10.6k yeah still higher than this this line would make us higher than the previous to make a higher high another thing i did see is a symmetrical triangle right here we did come from support and this would actually be more profitable than the ascending triangle because we would have bought in at the 9000 level and that would give us a uh, 300 more dollars than the 9300 level which was the ascending triangle so yeah, that's some cases why we might be bullish. But as if we go back to when we went to the 14,000 level, we did have these false, we had this false breakout here and another false breakout here. And after that, we actually crashed. So when we had the false breakout, we went to the incredible sell zone. And that's actually where the RSI is right now. Well, was, you guys can see, we tapped the top of this triangle and this was like a, this is still in the sell zone so don't get too caught up with when we're going to be going up because you guys know that if the crowd is saying that we're going to buy and bitcoin's going up that we should be looking to sell because we we know that we're going to sell because when the crowd does one thing you should do the other thing even if it's like some 
somebody you know or a close friend or someone that's saying it's gonna go up no matter what you're just supposed to be like stick to your rules because I'm just gonna be looking at the RSI and how it's saying because when the RSI told us that we were gonna be crashing right here if we started going down and we started going down and then look at where we went we went like from 10,300 to 6,400 right here so that's much and same thing when the RSI was right here I was like oh we're gonna crash we're gonna crash see how how far we're gonna crash and I was like oh the MACD is going crazy levels and as soon as it's gonna turn I'm gonna sell so as soon as they sell it started crashing 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 and then you guys can see we had smaller smaller signals here, so you guys can see we the R side went to a good zone, good sell, and then we crashed, and we had a, another crash here, and then we regained our strength, and that's when our R side was here at the thirty five level, which is a great buy. So I would be like, so yeah, and you guys can see when we went up right here. Do we went almost we almost tapped the great buy zone, so we like almost tapped it, so we were in a good buy zone. And if somebody would have bought there, they would get like six hundred four, and if they kept it holding it to like seven thousand two hundred, so they almost got like eight hundred dollars. And another one right here, if we make these all extend, there you go, make an ascend and make it green because it's buy. So we. You can also so after this send that before we crashed and and that was when we were about to touch. Sometimes we don't even go to this um good buy and good sell zone. So you have to look at other charts like the MAGD and other things like patterns and stuff. So like so some we you didn't even go to this top, so we were supposed to look at something else like the MAGD that it flipped right here. And that would be when we would sell. And there's a crash, and then we crash some more. And after that, you see that the RSI went to again a, a, a good buy, a good buy zone. And after that, you guys can see that we started going up and up and up and up and up. And then we had this huge. So if somebody kept holding their money, man, how much money they would get from six thousand seven hundred to nine thousand. That's like three thousand, four thousand dollars somebody would make and that's the same thing that was here only right now we are in the sell zone so bull in the pool that's coming above me right now are you bullish or bearish on bitcoin because i kind of am not sure because of there's so much pattern to say we're bullish but there's also lots of patterns that say we're bearish because this happened before right here and in other places and after that everybody was like yay and then we just crashed down and we kept doing lower highs so the, the only thing that i would guarantee you is as soon as we break over the 10.5k i am 100 percent bullish but if we do make a fake out and we actually break below this other line that has been going on since 2013 remember from a long time ago i was talking about that one it goes on from 2013 all the time. We were always battling it, and it says when we're in bull bull markets and bear markets. Yeah, so we're above it. But if we do break below it, then I will be bearish on Bitcoin again. But uh, for now, it's looking to the bullish side. But be cautious. Always look at the R side because you're never gonna know what if we're gonna crash right now. Because see, we're going up, and that means so lots of people are buying. What happens when everybody's just gonna buy? What's gonna happen? They're gonna start selling. Like if somebody just starts selling, one person wants to buy a car with Bitcoin, he sells like a thousand dollars, boom, it crashes, everybody's like, ah, oh, it's gonna crash, and everybody just starts, it's like a chain reaction, dominoes. So if if everybody's gonna keep buying, then it's not gonna have dominoes. Same thing that happened here. We have buy, 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 then somebody probably bought like some kind of Lamborghini or some kind of mansion, boom, and then they bomb, and they bang, and they like, ow, 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 and then Bitcoin fell all the way down. Yeah, and after we break this 10,500 level, I would expect to, to go higher because we are starting the new bull market. So with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like. Go down below in the comments and write what you liked about this video the most. Subscribe, slap the bell, and by the way, get 
don't forget to slap the notification bell because YouTube is po uh, shadow banning people after four hours. So if you're not going to be getting notification bell, that means you're not going to be getting my videos. To get 100%, be sure you, you're going to get my videos. Get make go to my notification bell press it and press all so you got all the notifications so with that being said hope you guys enjoyed this video i'll see you in the next one bye